What is up you cardboard collectors? Cospunk back again and today we are doing something a little bit different. And by different I don't mean different from cards or anything or collectibles. We're doing something a bit older. Now here is Clash is actually the third booster set for the My Hero Academia or Universes card game, UVS. And set six just released. I've already got a box opening up on my channel. Please go and check that out after this video. And I normally wouldn't buy all the sets unless there was something I was desperate for, but I found this box extraordinarily cheap. I was almost worried it might be fake. I actually only paid £20 for this box. So that's about $24, I think, something like that in American. I jumped onto the game just after release of set 4, so there's actually a lot of commons and uncommons and rares and stuff that I'm missing from the earlier sets, so I thought buying a booster box would certainly help me on my way to getting play sets, especially for many of the cards that are still played in my meta today, and this set doesn't rotate out for at least another year and maybe a half, so... And even when it does, it's still going to be playable in My Hero Spotlight format. So, I thought that for 20 quid it was probably a pretty good investment. So I don't think there's any super crazy chase cards, but we're just after something decent, maybe a couple of nice ultras. And of course, I think the main attraction for set three is the, is it the quirk packs, which are the box toppers, which you get believed two of and could contain some pretty good exclusive cards, such as Chivalrous Competitor, which I do need more copies of. We are also going to get an XR box topper. This could be any XR in the entire set. A character would be lovely or a really nice attack. Let's have a look. Oh, so it is a foundation. And it is going to be a Arrogant Smirk XR. This is a Star Trek exclusive foundation. Actually a pretty good card from what I can tell. I might want to run that in the future, so I'll pop that to the side. On the off chance we can pull any of the XR versions of the Endeavor starter deck, so maybe some prominence burns or something, that'd be amazing. I'm gonna leave the quirk packs till the end just because they are some of the most exciting parts of the box and we're gonna go through the packs first. So 24 packs of Heroes Clash, let's go. So I'm probably not gonna go through every single common and uncommon because it is quite an old set and you guys have probably seen them already, but I will quickly flick through them, picking out anything that's particularly interesting. So we've got a Command Pigeon Flock Rare. This was, of course, also pre-set 5, so we do not get a character in every single pack. Oh, I think we have got a One of Nature. This is a disgustingly broken card, also completely banned now, for good reason. Basically lets you force an attack through, because it gives your rival's block modifier plus 2, so you can just create a huge attack and win off that, so really, really strong. Snack time, really good card. I've already got a play set. We have got a Stun Grenade. This is a UR, very, very cool back -a go attack. It's got powerful two and stun one. It's got plus one to its stun rating for each attack that has left your card pool this turn. So I'm actually trying to build a Merco deck and I think I'm gonna probably run these because she's all about fury attacks on either fire or death and about cards leaving your card pool so that should be really really good. I wouldn't mind some copies of Tetsu Tetsu Thrashing as well, that's a pretty cool ultra. We've got Prehensile Tail, I think I actually need more of those. And we're gonna get a another UR, this is a Piercing Needle so it's a Toga card. Always nice to have more Toga cards. I've just made a new Toga deck from the set 6 stuff. And I don't think I actually own any copies of Piercing Needle. I might have to try that one out. The nice thing about Toga as well is that every single one of her cards is on death. So as long as you're playing her on death, you can run basically anything. We've got a Laceration Rare for Stain. I'm gonna keep our Ultras off to the side. So as far as rares go, I'd definitely be after some copies of Talented Baker. That'd be really, really cool. I'd like to run that in Merco as well. I think Sugar Rush Power Up, I can't remember if that is just a rare in the set or whether it's, oh, we might actually have something back here, or if it's a Quirk Pack card. Go Cheerleader. I think I already had four of us, but really nice card gives any attack flash, you can even use that on your opponent's attacks as well, so games can often be completely won or lost on a cheerleader play. Swift Cross Detonator. So yeah, getting loads of idle work, that's a pretty good card. We've got our first character of the 
box so far. That is a Tomura Shigaraki 2. And a Hulking Grimace you are. This is a Nomu Ultra Air Attack. So there's not a guaranteed secret in these older sets. I think that the secrets are maybe one every few boxes. You're basically just guaranteed, I think like six or seven ultra rares and then maybe a couple of cool XRs. So we're going for a freezer burn rare here. We haven't actually seen any XRs yet. So as I said, there's not like a huge amount of value in the set anymore, but really when I'm buying a box for 20 pounds, I'm not really looking for value. It's just really nice to open. Zip lined art. Oh, we've got something shiny at the back as always. It's a recovery time rare. I don't know why I said that. There's literally always something shiny. I think I was just slightly taken aback by the blue, which is an action card. There's not a huge amount of them in the game, but when they are played, they're usually pretty useful. Carbo loading. Really, really solid foundation. We've got a Hagakure and a, another friend of animals. Still not had any copies of Talented Baker yet, so that would be really nice. See what's in this pack. We've got Male Bonding. Really, really strong and a UA high. Oh, we've got our first XR. So that's a Tape Lash XR common. Really, really cool on Cero. Also used on anything else, I think. Anything that uses ranged or stun. Really nice on those symbols. I think this played on order a lot. UA high rare. Pack 12 and the last pack of the first side of the box. Would be nice to maybe get another XR or something in this. Let's have a look. It is a wind up punch. You are for Deku. So first half of the box, we're at four URs and one XR. See how the second half of the box will fare? So let's have a look. We have got another character. Oh, brilliant. First talented baker. I very much needed those. So I'll pop that one there in the rare pile. Just a really good speed pump on fire. So making all of those really nice fire attacks even stronger. Also great on all and earth. So some really powerful cards can use it. Some great characters. Ryu Q from the most recent set makes use of this card as well. And a Conflict of Ideologies rare. In this pack, we've got an easily excited, I think Midnight's still really strong to say that she's a fairly old character now. Bench Press, this is great, also great in Toga. Let's have a look. We've got, we've got another XR in here. So we've got a Sticky Ball Pitch and an XR Heroes Inspiration Rare. So that's really nice. We're flowing on that's really cool. Yeah, if you ever get an XR character card in any of these, that's always like a really nice thing to have because XR characters are always going to be desirable. Let's see what we've got. Like the Wind, full on attack mode. And it is a Flex Your Might UR, an All Might action. So we're up to five URs, so maybe one or two more in the box. We could probably go for another one or two XRs as well if we're lucky. I think this might actually be a hero's inspiration. I just saw a flash of it. Oh, we've got that. And then, oh, that's very nice. I've got an XR bench press. This is probably the biggest hit of the box for me personally, because that can go straight in my toga deck. And we've got the non-XR version of hero's inspiration. Yeah, that bench press is probably worth a few quid at least. Few more packs to go. We have got in this one a Sonambulism, that's a UR attack for Midnight. So we're up to six URs, so I don't know if there's going to be any more. Maybe one if we're lucky. There's definitely a couple of URs in here that I'd really like to hit. Whether we will or not is a different question. More bench presses, and we're at a Karate Chop Rare and a Shoji character card. Five packs left, so even if I just bought the packs as is, the amount I paid for the entire booster box would have been the same cost of just these five packs. So 100% worth buying. And we've got some sort of asset back here. It is a Grandia Bracers. Four packs left. See if there's anything cool. I think at least one or two more XRs. Let's see. In here we have got a... Oh, we have actually got a secret rare. That's pretty cool. So this isn't guaranteed. We've got an aggressive clash. I don't know if this is played or not, but very cool art nonetheless. I'm still very happy to pull a secret rare. Three packs left to go. And it's, oh, we have got an XR here. So it's gonna be a Deku's Notebook Rare and a Dexterous Appendages XR in common. So I think normally you get, at least from my experience, two common XRs a rare XR and, a, and an uncommon XR. On average, you can also, of course, get ultra rare XRs and secret rare SRs as well. 
Oh, I've launched the cards slightly. So maybe one more XR would be really cool out of this box. I think I'd be really happy with that. We have got a Confident Inventor Rare. And in our last pack, what's it gonna be? I think I see orange, that's an attack at the back. Or maybe not, have I gone mad? We'll go for it slowly just to build up the suspense. Snack time, code a character card. And it is a tentacle tactic, so no more XRs. So I think, honestly, pretty stellar bot. We have, of course, though, got two quirk packs, which are the main attraction, arguably. So what can we get in these quirk packs? I can't entirely remember. I know that basically all I care about is Chivalrous Competitor. I think you can get Learning the Standards as well, but I already have a playset of that, but they are tradable, so. Two shots at Chivalrous. Let's see how we go. That's not a Chivalrous Competitor, I can already tell you that. We've got a copy of Training Weight, so this is still a really, really good card, used in a lot of builds. I think this is played in basically any asset deck. And our last one all comes down to this. I'm gonna open this back to the front. Oh, it actually shows you, so you can get I don't know if this is going to focus, but yeah, you can get Backdraft, Death Arms, Training Weights, Hardened Steel, and Chivalrous Competitor. So let's have a look. If there is no Shiv, it's not a huge issue. It just means I'm going to have to carry on going after them. Oh, this is not wanting to open. And let's see. I think this might be an attack because I just saw Orange Reflection. It is, in fact, a Hardened Steel. So that is not the Shiv we are looking for, but... No matter, I think this was still a pretty good box overall, and for £20 I absolutely can't complain. I might even do another one of these if I can get a hold of another one, I was pretty happy with the results, especially for that sort of price. So anyway guys, let me know, what did you think of the pulls? Do you think that this box was worth £20? I think that is a huge yes, I cannot see in any way how you would not be happy with all of this for £20 and just for fun opening experience of the box. I don't know the values of all of this stuff, but like, doesn't really matter. We got a secret, we got a really cool stun grenade. There's cards here I'm actually gonna use, so bench press XR. Man, yeah, I think this is pretty good. Anyway, nice quick one today. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to give it a like. Feel free to subscribe if you wanna see more card openings. I'm not just a card opening channel. I've just been very deep in the card game gacha help it recently and i think with all that said all that remains to be said is i thank you guys so so much for watching i have been cospunk and remember to love relentlessly i'll see you guys later bye bye